In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the storage of the Acer Aspire 5 by adding an additional 2.5 SSD hard drive. It has a NVMe hard drive built in. First of all, make sure the computer is completely powered off and not in sleep mode. It comes with four screws to secure the hard drive to the case. I'm using a 240 GB Lexa hard drive. I removed 11 little screws from the back panel using an electric screwdriver. Should be able to pull this panel off. A little pry bar can be very helpful in this step. It wasn't too hard. It's unlikely to break anything. Okay, done. That's the slot of the hard drive. Looks like it is secured by a piece of tape. Let me zoom in and make the connection. Now let's grab the included four screw and secure the hard drive to the case. Uh, USB Type-C, USB-A, headphone jack, two speakers, that's the battery, the fan, the CPU, and additional ports. Now reverse the action and put it back. Pretty cool. Basically, it just snaps on. After login, make sure we go to the start menu, type in disk and do uh, create and format disk. It looks like it is recognized as disk one, which shows basic, unallocated. I'm going to create new simple volume, take the defaults. Assign the following drive letter, D, next. File system, NTFS, is the default, but I'm going to do XFAT as I'm going to store maybe multimedia devices. If I want to take it off, I can totally read it from my MacBook. So I think for compatibility, I'm just going to use XFAT. The label, I'm going to call it 140 GB. I perform a quick format, yes, then finish. If you only use Windows system, I think the NTFS should be used. Then let's go to the uh, Finder, I mean, Explorer, Windows Explorer. And now that 240 GB storage is available for use. And the uh, true capacity is 223 GB. That's the properties of this hard drive, which is file system X fat. All right, that's how you in increase the internal storage um, of the Acer Aspire 3. And it does um, it impact the battery life a little bit. I think it does supply constant power to the hard drive. So uh, that, there's a trade-off to make. However, by using SSD, it is a non-spinning disk. Therefore, uh, the power consumption is going to be much lower than uh, that of the spinning kind of a uh, traditional hard drive. So maybe in the future, if it's not enough, I can quickly swap to one TB uh, as a you know future upgrade. But that can be done easily in like five minutes. All right. Thank you very much for watching.